Let's talk about transport in Malta. Okay, so we are going to talk first of all about the public transport and then we are going to talk about the alternatives that you have from the public transport. Okay, so starting with the public transport, Malta has different ways to move around, such as for example, buses and ferry. Okay, when it comes to the buses, you can get pretty much anywhere around the island of Malta and Gozo. Uh, however, the, for the ferries, you have specific routes that goes one of them from Slima to Valletta and the other one from Copisqua to Valletta. You can also make the same journey the other way around. And you also have a ferry from the island of Malta to the island of Gozo. Okay, there is also another service that is called on demand buses. So bas it's basically an on demand bus service that takes you from one point to another. Now, when it comes to planning your journey here in Malta, you want to use apps such as Google Maps. So it is possible to plan your journey with this app. Yes. However, there are many big downsides and the big one, the, the main downside comes with the time. So more often than you, you sorry, more often than no, you will find yourself waiting more time than for the bus than it says in the app of Google Maps. And this is something that is going to happen a lot here in Malta. It's going to be very, very frequently. So this is how Google Maps is not very accurate here in Malta. And the other downside comes to Sundays and bank holidays. So you will find that Google Maps doesn't work on Sundays and bank holidays. And I don't know why this happened, but it is not possible to plan your route by using Google Maps. So when this happens to you, you have to use other alternative apps. And the app that I recommend you to use for that is Talingia app. So this app is uh, basically the public transport app here in Malta and it will allow you to make your routes on Sundays and bank holidays and it's a little bit more accurate for that Google Maps when it comes to the times that you spend waiting for the bus. Now, now this is all for the public transport. Let's talk about the alternatives that you have for the public transport. So remember, the number one alternative for me is definitely the uh, on-demand transport services. So those on-demand transport services was basically similar than Uber but with the difference that we don't have Uber here in Malta. What we have instead are apps such as eCabs and Bolt. Okay, so those apps work basically as Uber and is, as I said, my favorite way to move around Malta apart from the public transport. And it's also because it's very cheap in comparison to, you know, other cities in Europe. So you, find, you may find yourself spending five to 10 euros per journey, okay? Another alternative to the public transport is the car share service. So this car share service was similar to apps such as BlaBlaCar that are available in many other cities in Europe. And, uh, but again, we have our own app here in Malta, which is called Cool Ride Pulling. So basically with, with this app, let's say that someone has a car and wants to go, wants to get to a specific point. And then let's say that you also want to get to a specific point. So what you are going to do is to go to this app and find this person, agree about the journey, and then this person will pick you up and will take you to the a specific point, okay? So this is how basically it works. Um, it's a very good alternative. And now let's talk about the third alternative, which is the on-demand car scooter renting. So basically, this on-demand car scooter rating was similar to the public bike services that is working in the big in the big cities around the world, such as for example London. So basically, you pick the scooter or the car from a specific charging point, and you make your journey. Once you make your journey, you leave the scooter or the car to another specific charging point, and you are going to pay only for the time you spend doing the journey. So with this, you will find yourself paying as little as 250 euro, okay? That is a very good alternative. And the app that we are going to use for this here in Malta is called GoTo, okay? So I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this app as well as the other app that I have been talking about in this video, so you have it in for reference, okay? So check in the description of this video to find about those apps. 
and this is pretty much everything for the video of today i really hope you have got some value from it and have given you some valuable information when you are here in malta and you plan your your journey inside the iceland okay so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video please like and subscribe and ask me anything related to public transport and alternative tra uh, and other transport method in malta in the comments okay Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.